Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back. In today's video, we will be discussing a few new and very interesting EXP related items in Temtem's Arbory update. EXP related, of course, being items that can alter your experience growth and in general, make your life more simple and convenient. That said, within this video, we will discuss how these items work and where to find them. So make sure to sit back, relax, and let's dive right in. Okay, so the Arbory update, aka version 0.8, brought forth a few notable items that will be quite useful for various aspects as it pertains to garnering experience points and TVs or training values for short. Now, prior to Arbory, of course, we had the Coward's Cloak, which functions exactly like old school Pokemon experience shares, being held by one Temtem and splitting experience, so that Temtem will also gain experience points after battle. This, however, is now not the only type of experience share that will be available. So the first item we got is the Coward's Blanket, which unlike the Coward's Cloak is essentially a toggle allowing the entire party to share experience points, somewhat similar to how it's done in the sixth and seventh generation of Pokemon. But instead of sharing XP and gaining it, kind of like how it does in six and seven, this item is more like the EXP all from the first generation of Pokemon, where it completely splits it, dividing it across all the members, no extra experience. This item can be uncovered by completing the Travel Rider quest, which is very simple. Basically, to initiate it, you have to speak with Tarly and essentially beat the game and then just report to her when you have. She'll reward you with the Coward's Blanket. Next, we got the Learning Aid, which for a short time will double the amount of XP Temtem received. This consumable item works a lot like the Lucky Egg from Pokemon Go, where it sort of has a timer, and then once it's up, it's done. Right now, it's only available by finding it in chests or in normal loot pools like the Wishing Well, but they will be available for purchase on the Endgame Island, via that update. And last but not least, we have the Ignoramus Cloak, which acts like a reverse Coward's Cloak in that you attach it to one of your Temtem, and it will prevent that Temtem from receiving any XP and subsequently any TVs. This could be especially useful if you're training TV values for certain Temtems, but don't want to box the other one. So it's just more of a convenience-based thing. This can be found by completing the Hunt for Captain Malika quest, which can be initiated in the Amethyst Barons on Tukma and subsequently completed in Properton. It's a pretty simple quest as well, so after initiating it, just follow the directions. It should take you about 10 minutes. Yeah, guys, those were three notable experience-related items that you should definitely know about for the Arbory update. Definitely happy about the new Coward's Blanket. I think it's a good item to have for endgame grind and such. And in general, I'm glad that a lot of the grinding aspects of the game have been streamlined. That said, if you do enjoy Temtem or just monster taming content in general, definitely subscribe to the channel. You could also follow me on Twitter and check out my Discord, which will be linked below. And just want to say special thanks to the channel's patrons, especially Steelcase and Jim Hamilton, our mythical level backers. With that said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.